So what happens is that the neediness, that sense of your needy starts to disappear because you're discovering it inside yourself. And as you're discovering this light, this love inside yourself, it starts to change your aura. And you're becoming more attractive. Now people are getting attracted to you because you're not projecting it on them. You're founded inside yourself. And any man, any woman in this life discovered the love, the Christ love within themselves, the Krishna love within themselves becomes very attractive. People want you. They want to be with you. They're attracted to you. Because you've discovered the love. Now you get more attractive. Regardless of your physical looks, you may not physically be attractive. You may not be fashionable or whatever, or cool or whatever is your story. Mother Teresa was not attractive looking or sexy or anything. But thousands of people were attracted to her. They loved her because she was emanating love. She knew who she was. So this thing about man and woman or man and man or woman and woman, whatever is your sexual preference, which doesn't matter, is... This whole thing, this imprint, this brainwashing, all these movies you're watching that the boy finally finds the girl. And as a result of finding the girl, they're going to be happy. Is simply an illusion. It never existed. It will never exist because that's not the truth. You can find your partner in this life. But if you have discovered that within yourself and she or he has discovered the same thing, then it's going to be a healthy and whole relationship for as long as it lasts. This doesn't guarantee it's going to be forever because nothing is forever in the third dimension. Everything is temporarily. Except I am. Except love. Except that which doesn't change. The presence. Any other object has a duration. So view that when you're attracted and you love, you feel love with somebody, just know that they are mirroring back the immense love that is in your own heart. And it's being waiting for you to be discovered. So now... All these suicides, all these people who killed themselves because they were heartbroken, because their love left them, was because they're projecting this immense love that they're experiencing on an object. I'm projecting it on a woman. I'm projecting this love on her. So when she leaves me, I am destroyed. So this is the wrong training. We were not trained correctly. We were not taught. We were not educated. We don't have the right education. We have been taught wrong. And just because millions and millions of people are doing it, it doesn't mean anything to me. I don't give a shit that 
five billion people are doing blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I go my own way. I do my own thing. I don't care five billion people are doing it. Everyone's doing it. So what? I'm not everyone. I'm myself. I choose for myself. My realization is my own self. I don't care what everyone's doing. Well, everybody is doing it. So what? Good for them. I'm not. I'm walking my own path. Where the lion goes, he cuts his own path. Lion doesn't follow anyone's path. It doesn't walk on anyone's trail. Lion goes, wherever he goes, he creates a new path. And be a lion. Be a lioness. Walk your own truth, regardless of what everyone else is doing or thinking. Who gives a shit? This is the truth. The soulmate you're looking for, the partner you're looking for, the love you're looking for has always been within yourself. You're the generator of it because God lives in you. You are God. The divine presence is here. Excuse me, Amir. Can you open this window a little bit? It's getting hot. Hopefully we won't have any airplanes flying above our head or helicopters. We'll see. It's, oh, great. Thank you. Comprende? Yes? Are you here with me? Do you see what's happening? Do you see how we are being conditioned, brainwashed? Thousands of years. I'm not talking about lately. Years and years and years of looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for love in all the wrong places. What is that song? Anyone can sing it? And I was there. I am included. I'm not an exception of that. Projecting it on someone else. Projecting it on somewhere else. Projecting it on the future. Oh yeah, if I lose some weight, then I'm ready. If I get my degree in law, then I'm ready. When I make more money, then I'm ready. It's not any other time and it's not any other place. It's here and it's now and it's inside yourself. So look inside. Look within and you will find your soulmate. You will find love because you are the source of it. It's coming from you. Anybody else is going to mirror it back to you. Now, can we be attracted to other people and, and love them and wanting to be with them? Of course. Of course you can. That is a part of our existence. Is that okay? Of course it's okay. Of course the human touch is important. Of course the sharing, the love. You can be loved by other people. Of course you can share that. 